Hey everyone, Jonathan Allen here from Camping RV in Stratford, Ontario. Today's walkthrough video, 2021 Puma 32 RBFQ. This one here is a 32 foot box length travel trailer made by Palomino RV. It's got two queen bedrooms, three power slide outs, and it's really well equipped, including power awning, upgraded stairs, and much more. So we're gonna give you a nice walk around here today, point out all the nice features, and then we'll take a look on the inside as well. So we'll start at the front. Got a power tongue jack. You don't have to crank it. You just hit a button going up and down. There is a light in there as well. So if you're hooking up at nighttime, you can see what you're doing. You've got your propane tanks in behind. They've got an easy access hatch. So it's dual propane tanks, and then you can access it from the top. Uh, and this one has 20 pound tanks, but it is, uh, you can upgrade to a 30 pound tank as well. All of our units include filled propane tanks and all of our units include a deep cycle battery. Now this one, we just have a battery sitting on the tongue here, but there is a battery box that sits in with that as well. And again, all of our units include the tanks filled and the battery. Uh, over on this side here, you've got the three power slide outs. So they're all on the off door side. Uh, one in the front bedroom, one in the living area, one in the rear bedroom. And we'll give you a nice look at that from the inside. Uh, dry weight on this model, 8,339 pounds. The nice thing with this manufacturer is they do weigh them on the way out the factory door. So we know exactly what they weigh. This one's 8,339. It does have the four corner stabilizer jacks. So you have one on each corner that crank up and down. Uh, the crank for it is in one of the storage compartments. And speaking of storage, this one has a lot. So you got storage compartments. This is underneath the queen bed inside. And again, we'll show you that from the inside, but you got a nice storage compartment here. You've got another storage compartment in the second slide out here, which this is underneath the dinette. Again, just another compartment that's accessible and you can access that from the inside as well. In between those two slides, we've got our power hookup. It's a 30 amp detachable connection. So just like a Marine style, but you've got your power hookup and the city water hookup right here. Sewer connection down below with black and gray water valves. The last slide out here, this is the queen bedroom at the back. And on this one, again, you've got a storage compartment underneath. And again, that's accessible from inside. Moving around to the back, we did order this one with the roof ladder. So you can get up there for cleaning and servicing. We also have the spare tire with the carrier on this one. And these are pre-wired for cable and satellite, plugged right on the back. Back to the door side, as I mentioned, the four corner stabilizer jacks. There's also an LP quick connect on the outside. So if you have a propane appliance, barbecue, uh, stove top, anything like that, you do have access to your propane, which runs off the main tanks. We did order this one with the optional black tank flusher. So after you've emptied out your sewer, you can hook a hose on there and turn that on. And it's basically like a spindle inside the black tank that'll clean out that tank for you. Outside showers over here. You got your outdoor speakers, which do have blue LED lights built into them. I know it might be tough to see in the lighting here, but there's lights in the speakers and you also have LED lights built into the awning. And that awning is power, just hit a button, goes in and out. There is power hookups on the outside as well. Big entry assist handle beside the door for getting in and out. And then with the new upgraded solid step made by Lippert, these fold right into the door frame. Those fold up. Then with that, you open that back up, stairs come out and they are height adjustable. So if you're on unlevel ground, you can level them out accordingly. It does have the screen door that'll separate. We're gonna check out the inside. Come on in. So the first thing I'll point out to you is the nice flooring. This is a, a hardwood look linoleum floor. So it's all one piece. Uh, it's very easy to clean. There's no seams anywhere, very easy to maintain. Uh, this is our open living area, which you do have a jackknife sofa and a wraparound U-shaped dinette that both drop down into beds. There is, as you can see in this one, you got the cup holders that flip up. There is also storage underneath. And then that jackknife's down, just like a futon. You can see right beside here, we do have USB plugs as well. Everybody's got their phones and tablets to plug in. The U-shaped dinette also drops down into a bed, and then you do have storage accessible from the inside and this one had the access point from the outside as well. Across from that, you've got your kitchen area. Uh, so 11 cubic foot fridge on this one, lots of room in the fridge, full size freezer. And then you do have the three burner stove with the flush mount glass cover. 
So when you're not using the stove, you got extra prep space here, but then these just fold up. Gives you access to your three burners. You got an oven with built-in light, and there's even some nice accent lighting around the knobs. And it's a minor touch, but behind that stove, you do have some knife slots there, so you can store your knives. It does have the microwave. It's got a nice big stainless steel sink. These are the sink covers that roll up. You can pull them out of the way. You can do your dishes on one side, let your dishes drip dry on the other side. And with that high rise faucet, it's very easy to do dishes because you can move that around as you need. Good amount of storage. You got cabinet and drawer storage down below. And again, I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but there's LED under accent lighting under the counter here. Just gives it a nice look. You got some more storage in the back corner here. Great pantry storage. Bathroom on the side here. So it does have the corner shower with the sliding doors. And you get a full shower surround and the skylight up above. Now on the other side, I'll let you take a look. You got the toilet as well as the vanity. There is a medicine cabinet, and then you do have a roof vent up above with a built-in fan. Making our way towards the back, we do have a queen bedroom back here. And with that, it's a queen walk around bed. You can get around both sides, no problem at all. There is storage underneath that bed, and that's the storage that we saw from the outside as well. Gas shock arms, that will hold that up. You don't have to worry about resting it with your head. Overhead cabinets up above. You've also got power outlet on the back wall here. More storage across from the bed. You've got full wardrobe, dresser, spot for a TV, which you can mount on the wall and a cable hookup up above. And then you got power outlets and USB plugs here as well. The windows on these all have these roller shades and they're a slow rise shade. So you can just let them go and they rise right up. And that's on every window except for the kitchen window, which has a regular blind just because it's beside the sink. Now we're going to shoot towards the front and we've got our entertainment cabinet, which you do have a wall mounted TV that does pull out and angle. So if you're sitting on the sofa or sitting on the dinette, you got yourself a better viewing angle. And then down below that you do have the sound bar with AM, FM, CD and DVD. It's also got built in Bluetooth, HDMI and USB and auxiliary all on the front. So it'll pretty much play anything you want. Uh, these are pre-wired for a Wi-Fi antenna, and they're also wired, as I mentioned, outside cable and satellite. Right at the front, we got another queen bedroom. As I said, this one's two queen bedrooms, which is very rare. So you get another queen bed. Again, storage underneath that bed, which is accessible from outside. And then you do have storage up above. And again, you got wardrobe right across the front here. Ton of storage. And an extra closet in the corner. This model, they do have some availability with a washer and dryer. It's not something that we typically order in our stock units, but it can be added. And in case you're wondering, the AC is ducted all through the ceiling. So you got AC ducts in both bedrooms and in the living area. And then this one does have the extra roof vent in here as well. There is also a TV hookup in the bedroom here, right above that dresser. Same as what you saw in the back room. The last thing that we're going to show you is right over here. This is your control panel. So your slide controls, your awning control, all your lights, your water heater, everything's all centrally located right here. And they're up nice and high so that the grandkids or your young, uh, young son or daughter aren't pressing any buttons and put your slides in on you. Now that's about all of our walkthrough here today. We're going to take another look on the outside. So again, this is the 2021 Puma 32 RBFQ. We have this one with the two queen beds. This one's now in stock. It's available for sale. Come on in anytime. We'd love to show you through it. Check us out on our uh, Facebook page, our Instagram page, our YouTube channel. Best yet, give us a call. We'd love to have you. Thanks for watching.